Hey everyone, Cypriasson here, and today I'm going to be doing a critique of one of the forum members over at the Cycra.net forums. Alright, so here we have a portrait, and I don't know if it was a self-portrait or if it's a portrait of someone else, but anyway, um, I think you're pretty good at painting and getting values and things, but what I feel you're really missing is the likeness. You're missing the character of this uh, individual. And so I'm going to walk you through how I would approach uh, doing this portrait. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just a little sketch. And this is, for one reason, it's something I actually do myself whenever I do um, portraits or caricatures. Just to get a sense of, you know, where I'm headed with this. And it's also to show you sort of my thought process. And what I see when I look at this guy is... He has a very long face, but the first thing I notice is it's it's much rounder than what you've got. You've created a very square, boxy face. But when I look at um, the reference, he's got like an egg shape. Like if you turn an egg upside down, he's got that kind of shape of a face. Um, and he has eyes that slant downward um, at the uh, outer corners of his eyes slant downward. He's got a pretty big nose, and I didn't really play with that too much um, and then he's got thin lips and and thin hair and it might be the angle which is why the hair looks so thin and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is a self-portrait because you gave the person more hair and maybe if you tilted your head down you see more hair so it's a case of you know you know what this guy looks like and you want to add to it but I would recommend just you know look at what you're what you're seeing and paint what is there not what you might wish to see um but anyway so i started with a drawing and then i set the uh drawing layer to multiply and now i'm just painting underneath the values and this is something that you're not too bad at the the whole value thing i notice you are pretty good at creating um subtle value transitions uh, you're going a bit too light in areas like the forehead, um, but overall, your values are pretty good, but what's missing is the drawing, and this is very frustrating because it's something I encounter a lot, especially these days. I see people who are really quite good at painting, um, and they can do effects and use brushes that I don't use, um, but the drawing is lacking, and... Uh, it reminds me of when I was studying with uh, one of my teachers who said that uh, he would get students come in there like I want to learn how to paint and he'd be like okay and he'd bring a piece of paper and some charcoal they'd be like wait what I want to learn how to paint and he's like okay yeah but I'm gonna start with drawing and they're like no I want to learn how to paint and they wouldn't understand that the foundation to painting is drawing um, now what I've done here is I use the background to to define the edge of this person and, it, and it, it's cool to do because it feels like you're sculpting um, you also get nicer negative shapes um, and it, it makes everything look very clean so even if you're rough and messy you can do certain things to make things look very clean and it's almost like as long as the outside edge is nice and clean and this is this is true for even um, drawing where you show the line uh, then you can get away with quite a bit of messiness on the inside. As long as the outside is clean, it still looks somewhat finished. Um, right, so now I'm blocking in a tone, and I'm going to be using the techniques I've talked about in other tutorials on color, how I just look at the color and then I, I say, okay, is it warmer or cooler? Is it more saturated or less saturated? And is it lighter or darker? And um, I made a video called How to Choose Colors That Work. And a common question that was asked was, well, but how do you know what color to initially pick, right? What color do I start with? And that's really up to you. When I saw this guy, I found that his face looked very red. Um, and that's something that's missing from your uh, version. I don't see the redness to his face. Uh, you've got a lot of nice desaturated colors, and sometimes uh, beginners do the opposite, where they go way too colorful. So you don't have that problem, but I think you've got a bit of the other problem, where you're not brave enough. You need to be a bit more 
a bit more bold in the color choices, but that's just, you know, that could be my opinion, and you don't have to follow everything I'm saying. It's just, you know, all this is just a suggestion. But anyway, I did feel his face was very red, so I went with that. Um, overwhelmingly, when I look at the image, there's like a, a desaturated greenish brown to it, um, and I could have gone with that as well as a starting point, but I really wanted to highlight the redness so i went with red and then once that initial color is down sure it looks ugly but it's when you start to add like what i'm doing now where i'm adding um contrasting or complementary colors more cools uh changing the background color that's when things start to look more normal it's not so weird so if you just colored your thing and it's a weird color and then you're freaking out because you're like oh no this looks horrible well just wait a bit um so yeah so i did that on a color layer and now i'm painting just on a normal layer because i have all the color down it's now just a case of like adjusting it like i want it to be a bit more gray or a bit more red um yeah so you also notice that i was zoomed out for a lot of the video and I've been asked by people you know can you zoom in so we can see the the video better and to that I would just have to say that I could understand why that would make the video more entertaining but honestly I'm creating videos primarily for the purpose of art education and I want people to stay zoomed out in the beginning so they see the big picture and then they zoom in only for the details and um, you'll notice I zoomed in specifically to paint the eyes and the mouth uh, I did some work on the nose and some other areas too but um, the eyes and the mouth are the most important things to get right you have to be nailing those two uh, features if you want a good likeness and that's also what you're missing and I could have done a better job with the mouth um, but anyway so Hope that helped and thanks for watching.